Tempers Flare. It's a wrestling match of sorts outside a Florida courtroom. This after Scott Rothstein, who has ties to Rhode Island, pleads guilty to a billion-dollar Ponzi scheme. New at 6, Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau joins us now live with angry reaction from the disbarred lawyer's wife. Investigators are now chasing the trail of money and assets that leads in part to millions of dollars of Rhode Island property. Today's hearing was subdued, but then came the post news conference scrum. Can you tell excuse, me, excuse me, can, can you, you stay me? back? Hey, it started with a forearm from Kim Rothstein's bodyguard, but then the reporter pushes back as the conflict disintegrates into a full takedown. Scott Rothstein had just pleaded guilty in federal court to bilking $1.2 billion from clients. His wife offered a prepared statement afterwards. Today is the saddest day of my life. Two years ago when I married the sweetest man I'd ever met, I never would have believed our future together would come to this. Among her husband's assets, 24 pieces of property, including a pair of homes in Narragansett. He paid close to $6 million for the two South County waterfront estates. His victims, meanwhile, include several charities, but his wife implied she is also a victim. While I have committed no crime, the court of public opinion has chosen to believe otherwise. That is why I want to take this opportunity to state unequivocally that the public slurs and accusations against me are unjustified and based neither on evidence or fact. She went on to say her husband is not the only guilty party in the Ponzi scheme. I want only to see that all those who are involved are also held accountable. Rothstein said very little during his plea other than answering yes and no to the judge and telling the court he's under medication for anxiety. Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.